Hey everybody, this is Nathan Pershing at Modern Trailer Sales. Going to take a few minutes here while we're shut down because of the coronavirus and show you a couple of units. So this first one is a new floor plan for Alpine. This is a 3450 GK. Man, there's some really cool design cues on the inside that I'll show you. But we're going to do a real quick walk around outside first. I want to start up front here and point out the Rotoflex pin box. This has a pivoting head, takes a lot of the shock out of the, the, the bumps of the road. You have a, a rubber isolator in there that helps out. If you look up here, you see the windshield. And when we go inside, you'll be able to see it better, but this is kind of cool. It's up in the bedroom. Um, come on around this side a little bit. What you'll notice is this is a drop frame fifth wheel so you have much bigger storage up front here better headroom in the, the bedroom um, you don't get that until you get into the upper level fifth wheels you have a really nice water bay here so all of your connections are inside here your fresh water your tank fill all of your handles for your tanks are in here because all the valves are up inside the underbelly to keep them from freezing. Now, this is an Alpine. So this is rated down to negative 14 degrees inside. So this is one of the best insulated campers that you're gonna find. All right, moving back, tankless water heater. This is a factory standard now. No longer do you have a 12 gallon uh, quick recovery. This is a on-demand tankless water heater single gate valve all three handles are inside the water bay there and they all come out the one single point gate valve so you don't have to have multiple hoses you see that one of the center jack here for the six point hydraulic auto leveling system this isn't electric this isn't four point this is six point hydraulic all right come on back new for this year power cord reel so no more winding it up, trying to figure out where to put it. You've got a switch right here to, to auto wind it or to power wind it for you. Coming around the back side, you see the frameless windows here, see the ladder, and it also comes with a hitch. This is designed for storage rack. This is designed for bicycle rack, whatever you want. Come on around this side. We got these a little tight here, so I can't get the door open all the way, but hopefully you can see in here enough to see that you've got an outside kitchen that contains a lot of the stuff that people want. Um, your big outside refrigerator, you have a two burner cooktop stove, you've got a drawer for storage, you've got a storage cabinet, you have plugs for a TV for satellite and cable to come out here if you want to put a TV outside. Um, this is the stuff that I would want. I don't know that I care about an outside grill, but I want a refrigerator, I want a cooktop, and I want storage outside. This one has it. All right, come on up. Comes with the Lippert solid steps. So they go all the way to the ground. They are sturdy, no more bouncing. Um, man, this is one of those things that I wish they would have thought of 20 years ago. Honestly, I wish I would have thought of it. All right, I'm going to open up the storage door, magnetized up top so it just stays where you put it. Look at all of the storage. This is a box for a 50-inch TV, and it can stand upright in this thing. Most fifth wheels have a much shorter storage. Now, they have more than most travel trailers, but this has much more storage than most. All aluminum framework underneath the floor and the bed and everything. You have a couple tie down D rings here in case you need to tie something heavy, make sure it doesn't move. Comes with the Linda hand. So as you're trying to climb the steps inside the camper, it's already there. All right, we're gonna jump inside here real quick and show you the 3450 GK. Now opposing slide outs with an island is not something that's new to fifth wheels. But in this one, you have this kind of really cool architectural design here with pillars that come up and wood, and it just makes it feel so homey and cool. So I'm gonna start in the front here. And if I can have my cameraman pan around so he can see this stuff, this is another one of those features that's kind of like, why didn't they think about this a long time ago? 
you have an appliance garage. So you can get your toaster, your blender, your Keurig, all the things that you want to hide but be able to access easily and put it right in here. You've got an outlet back there. And of course you've got plenty of storage for pantry stuff. Overhead, down below, and then your washer and dryer prep is out here, out of your bedroom, out of the closet space up there. If you don't want washer and dryer, you have a lot of hanging space. Or you could turn it into a huge pantry. Okay, RV refrigerator here, stainless steel front, 30 inch microwave, chef level cooktop and oven. All right, coming on back here, living area space. This is a 34 foot fifth wheel, so it's not huge, but it feels so big inside because you have multiple slide outs back here. You have theater seating sitting right across from your entertainment center with a fireplace. Makes it feel so cozy of a, of a chilly evening. Behind me, you have a full width sofa all the way across the back wall. This is a trifold, so it folds out to be a really big height of bed. Blinds, you have day and night shade blinds. These are MCD brand. These are high-end roller blinds. Look at all this cabinet storage up top. All solid wood doors and styles. Just looks so nice. But it is an Alpine. What do you expect? All right, standalone dinette table and chairs with plenty of room for everybody. All right, we're going to hop up into the bedroom. So earlier when I said that the washer and dryers moved to the kitchen area, you still get to have plenty of storage up here and you get the big windshield. So it's nice to have that light coming in in the morning if you want it, but there is a shade that you can pull if you don't. You still have two big wardrobes, one on each side. You have cabinet space and drawer space below the windshield. You do have a flip up uh, top here for storage of, of knickknacks or whatever you want to put in there. You have a dresser on this side and of course you have a king bed. Because if you're in an Alpine, you don't want a small bed. I'm going to have my cameraman pan around into the bathroom to show you you've got a full-size rectangle shower in there. They didn't skimp on this. They didn't put one of these tiny little corner showers. Um, or they didn't give you a little vinyl shower curtain. It's a full rectangle shower with a step in there and a seat and a sliding glass door. All right, that pretty much concludes the walkthrough for today on the Alpine 3450 GK. If you have any questions or if you'd like to see anything in more detail, certainly let us know. Um, we didn't hit everything. I didn't hit the um, heat pumps in the quiet AC. Um, there's, there's just so much that I didn't hit, but it's an Alpine. I could spend a couple of hours going over this. But I just wanted to give you a little taste of it, show you the floor plan, the layout. Um, and then, like I said, if you have any other questions, certainly let me know. We'll go more in depth as you want. Again, this is Nathan at Modern Trailer Sales. Phone number is 765-644-4497. Thanks, and have a great day.